So I'm sure, like me, your time is super important when it comes to getting stuff done. And cross-listing is something I have been doing now for the last six months to a year, ever since Vinted Pro came onto the scene. Now, I'm really good at deleting the items that sell on Vinted off of eBay straight away. We all know eBay punishes you if you have an item, not in stock, you can't find, etc. But when it comes to the other way round and deleting them off of Vinted straight away, I'll be honest with you, I rarely do it. So I do have some sales go through on Vinted that I have to cancel because I've already sold it on eBay. We know Vinted doesn't punish you anywhere near like eBay does. But I've tried to tidy up my eBay and my Vinted account to make life easier. And I just want to show you a really quick way I have found to make life easier. So we're going to share the screen. I'm going to talk to you about a few steps. First things first, let's go on to the eBay page. So first of all, we need to pull up a report for all of our active listings on eBay. Very simple. Click on reports, click on downloads. This on your seller hub, by the way. Click on download report and click listings and then click all active listings. Very easy. Downloads that report. As you can see, I've downloaded it this morning. I have my copy here. Now, getting the information on Vinted, if I just move over to the Vinted screen, is a lot more difficult. Now, I did do some research and in your Vinted settings, if you click on your profile here, click down to settings and then go to privacy settings, this one here, you can click this button here, which is download account data. And I'm not 100% sure what it gives you because this is what happened here. Something went wrong. And this has been doing this for the last three or four days. So I had to look at other things. Now, I did find a program called Dressing Exporter. Now, this is a Chrome extension. So you need to use the Chrome browser. You can add it on as an extension. Very similar to things like Accelerator and I think Sipsale uses Chrome extensions as well. But what this does, it exports your files into a CSV or an Excel file. So that's what I done. And to do that, you click on your profile screen here. As you can see, I've got it up here, dressing exporter, and you can then click export dressing. And what that does now, it will download all of my vinted information into a CSV file. Now, as you can see, I've got 994 to go through. It doesn't take too long. But what I will say about Dressing Exporter, the free version, it lets you do, I believe, 60 listings. Now, I paid for the pro version. Um, it worked out, I look at my receipt, five pounds, five pence for the month. You can do a yearly plan. You can keep it rolling monthly. I will do this report once. Then I'm going to delete the subscription today. So I've got it for a month. It's cost me five pound. This is going to save me hours and hours and hours of time of going through each of my nearly 1000 vintage listings and typing it on eBay, seeing if it's still there, deleting it off and doing it manually. And let me show you how we're going to speed up this process even more. Addressing exporter is just finishing up. I've already done that report already. Then we've jumped on to chat GPT and I'm going to show you the command I done to make life easy. And this has saved me, as I say, hours and hours and hours and hours. There's still more stuff I need to do I'm going to explain. But in ChatGPT, and I pay for ChatGPT, so if you've tried this and it doesn't work, maybe look at upgrading ChatGPT. This is worth the £20 a month, I think it is. For me, the amount I use it, it's worth every penny. Anyway, on ChatGPT, I asked, can you look at both of the CSV files and pull out the data that is not shown in both and create me a new CSV file with the data? Now, you can probably do it a bit more advanced. You can probably ask it to do more. I wanted to keep it very simple. Now, ChatGPT has asked me to upload both of the CSV files, which I've done. So in my report section here, you literally go add photos or files. And if I go onto my desktop and go to reports, Here's the two CSV documents from both eBay active listings and the Vinted one as well. So once they are done, if I just cancel that quickly, once they're done, it's going to appear here. Click download and then it downloads up here. And same as with this one here, you click export dressing and you can select CSV or Excel. You can also download the photos in here as well, which might be good for some of you if you want to uh, re-upload and want to crop, 
really quick way. I haven't clicked that. I don't know how many photos it's going to download. I haven't done that yet, but it's a way you can do it. So let's go back to chat GPT. It's brought in both of the files, as you can see below here. And then what it says here, the two CSV files use different column names and structures. So it tells you the two different structures, title, brand, price, URL, etc. To identify rows not common to both, we'll use the title stroke title column, which is the one I want to use, which seems to describe the items. I'll standardize the items and compare them to exact listings that are unique to each platform. The new unique listings that appear in only one of the two CSV files have been extracted and saved. You can download the resulting file here. This all took me just over a minute to get this CSV file at the bottom, okay? So what it's done for me, it's created me all of these items here that are listed on Vinted that are no longer listed on eBay. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of items here that I need to remove off my Vinted account. So for instance, if we use the Paul and Shark shirt, the way I would do it is just copy that and I would put it into um, eBay and that's how you can check whether it is definitely on there still. So I've done the Paul and Shark shirt, it sold on eBay the other day. All of these items though are still listed on Vinted. So I need to now go through and remove these. Now, this is still a task. I'm going to have to search for these items. I'm going to have to scroll and find them. The good thing about this, though, is it's created me a link, a URL link. So if I click on this link here, it's brought up the polo shirt and I just click that confirm and delete and it's gone. So there we are. I just need to now click on each of them hyperlinks and delete them from Vinted. Now, the way I want to manage it, and a few people have mentioned this before, what you can do on your Vinted listing is actually put your eBay SKU code or number in the listing. So you can have your Vinted title, your description, and maybe right at the bottom there, just copy and paste your SKU number. And then with Vinted, you can actually search up the SKU number. But I think the fact that the CSV file has brought over the hyperlinks for me is going to be the quickest way for me to actually fix my vintage page today, delete all of the items that shouldn't be on there anymore. I will cross check on eBay just to make sure the CSV file is 100% correct. That may take a bit of time. I might even just check 15 or 20 to make sure that it is all correct and then trust the process. So yeah, I just wanted to share that because for a lot of people, the whole cross listing thing is very scary. I completely get it. Remember, eBay always takes priority over the vintage side. I don't have an affiliate link for the program I shared with you with regards to, um, I don't even know, I've got what it's called here, here we go, uh, Dressing Exporter. I don't have an affiliate link for it or anything, but I will put the link below. Um, I'm only going to use it for a month. I'm going to cancel it on my uh, business bank account um, after I finish using it today. But if you want to sign up, you can sign up for a year. I said not an affiliate video. I just hope it helps people out because I was stressing about how I was going to manually do it and how many hours it's going to take me. And I've took a task that could have taken me a day to do to probably half an hour, maybe 40 minutes. So it saved me a tremendous amount of time. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Um, please share this video to other resellers as well. It'd be really helpful. And uh, yeah, hopefully that helps you out on your reselling journey, especially if you are cross-listing. I'm sure there's other tools out there that does this kind of stuff. Again, if you know any other tools, do let me know. Hope that's helpful. See you very soon.